Falling Fringe Clutch is designed with artisan fabrics by Pat Bravo. I'm going to be teaching you how to use the open embroidery foot to attach the leather suede strips, how to create a gusset for your clutch as well as using decorative stitching in your strap, and how to apply a magnetic snap to your clutch. So the first thing you're going to do is take your four and a half by nine and a half rectangle, which is going to be the flap of your bag, and your seven and a half by nine and a half rectangle, which is going to be your body of your bag. And you're going to take the fusible and you're going to place it on the wrong side of the fabric and you're going to stitch around the piece at one fourth seam allowance. So the next step is to attach the magnetic clasp to one part of your flap. Now you need to find the midpoint of your flap. So an easy way to do that is to fold it in half and then mark the midpoint. And now we want to measure up about an inch from this mark from the bottom of your flap. And we'll mark that too. And then we're going to put one of our washers on top of this mark. And we're going to trace the lines on each side. So this is where we're going to put our first part of our magnetic clasp. And for the flap, we're going to put this part of the magnetic clasp where the middle of the clasp sticks out. And for the body of the bag, we're going to attach where the clasp goes in. So now that we know where we're going to place our first magnetic clasp, we're going to have to make cuts in the two lines that we marked. We take a pair of scissors and we snip each line in order to make a hole so then we can stick the legs of the magnetic slap snap through the holes. Then we're going to take our washer and we're going to place it on top of our the two legs of the magnetic snap. And then you can either take a pair of pliers or use your fingers or use something in order to pull both of these tabs down so to secure the magnetic snap to the flap. And so now our magnetic snap is attached to our flap. So now we need to figure out where we're going to put the other part of the magnetic clasp. So we're going to take our body of our bag and we're going to turn it around to the wrong side of the fabric. And we're going to take our flap and do the same thing. So this is the bottom of your flap. And it's going to come down onto the body of your bag like this and snap into place. So we need to figure out where the two are going to meet. So we place our flap on top of the body of the bag and they're going to meet right here at this point. So we're going to mark this point. So now that we know where we're going to put our next magnetic snap, we're going to take our other washer, we're going to place it on top of that point. And then we're going to draw lines in the two lines of the washer. And we're going to do the same thing as we did on the flap and we're going to take our small pair of scissors and we're going to snip lines. And then we're going to take the other side of our minute clasp 
and we're going to feed it through just like we did on the other side. Now that we have all of our leather pieces secure at the top at our seam allowance, we want to make sure that we have an, we left enough room on the sides um, in order to, once we're sewing together our flap, that the leather pieces aren't going to get into the way. And we're going to be sewing about at a 3 8 seam allowance, so this should give us enough room in order to do so. So what we're going to do is make sure that our suede cording is in the middle of our open embroidery foot. And we're going to put the needle down and for the first few stitches we're going to move the hand wheel. And then once we know that the leather is secure to the flap, we're going to go we're going to stitch right down the middle of the leather suede cord all the way to the bottom of our flap. making sure that our leather cord is going straight down. Now we're going to continue this process all the way to the end of our, our flap, except for when we get to the longer pieces that go past our flap, we need to make sure to stop with enough room in order to sew our flap, our final flap. So we need to leave at least 3 eighths of an inch. So we need to stop at 3 eighths of an inch at the bottom. So now that we have all of our leather strips sewn into place, we're gonna take our back flap and our front flap and we're gonna place it right sides together. Now we wanna make sure the leather strips that weren't, that are that go past the flap need to be tucked in and out of the way. And then we're going to pin this piece together and we're gonna sew from the top left corner all the way around to the top right corner. And now that we've sewn the front and back flap together, we're gonna cut each corner in order to when we flip the flap to the right side of the fabric that these corners will be pushed out and they'll be nice and pointy. So now that I've taken my strap and I folded it in half and I stitched at uh, 1 4 seam allowance, I need to turn my fabric inside out. And in order to do that, I'm going to take a safety pin and I'm going to attach it to one side of the fabric. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to inch my way through the strap and pull the fabric over my safety pin. And I'm going to continue doing this until I pull all of my strap through.
And now I'm going to press my strap flat. So now that my strap is ironed flat, I feel like I want to decorate my strap. So I want to do a zigzag stitch. And in order to do that, I need to push two, which is the zigzag stitch right here. And then I want to make sure that my stitch length is at four. So I either need to push down or up to get to stitch length number four. Now it's time to sew the body of our bag together and the lining of our bag together. Now we want to make sure to know which is the top and the bottom of our body of our bag. So we can take our flap and place it on top and the magnetic snap goes in and it lines up with the top of our bag. So we know that this is the top of our bag. So now we want to take right sides together, we want to sandwich it together and we want to sew from the left top corner to the right top corner. But first we want to make sure to place our straps in between. So we fold our strap in half and we want to measure down about an inch from the top. So about an inch from the top. So you can mark that and you can place this about an inch down. And if you angle the strap down, when we sew it's going to be angled up and we flip it inside out. So we want this strap to be angled up. So go ahead and pin that in place and then we can take the back of the body and place it on top of the front of the body. And then we'll sew. Now that we have our front and back body sewn together, we're going to create a gusset. In order to do that, we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna mark an inch up and an inch over. So we're gonna create this square. I'm gonna do it to the other side as well. Then we're gonna flip our piece and do an inch up and an inch over as well. And now we're going to take our piece and we're going to open it up. And we're going to take this seam and kind of line it up with this seam. And you can kind of feel it with your fingers. And we're going to place this seam allowance to the right side. And we're going to kind of line up the points of our squares on each side. And then we're going to go ahead and pin it right here. So now that we have this in place, we're going to do it to the other side as well. Now we're going to go ahead and sew on the line we drew on each side. So now that our body and our lining are sewn together, we need to attach our flap. We're gonna turn our bag around and we're going to take our flap and we're gonna pin it to the back of our bag. And the back of our flap is going to be facing us. So we're gonna start at one side seam and we're gonna pin it to the top of the body of the bag. 
and we're going to pin to the other side seam. So now that we have the flap secured to the back of our bag, we want to take the lining and we want to make sure to turn it inside out so that the wrong side of the fabric is on the outside. And we're going to take the body of our bag and we're going to place it inside the lining. Make sure our strap is tucked in there securely. And now we want to take the side seams and match up the side seams. And we want to make sure both side seams match up with each side and then go ahead and pin all the way around the top of your bag. And then once you have it pinned and secured, we can go ahead and sew all the way around at 3 eighths of an inch. And then once you're done sewing, you have the hole in your lining where you can pull the right side of your bag through. I hope you all enjoyed making the Falling Fringe Clutch with Artisan Fabrics. Stay tuned for more projects from AGF, which can all be found on the Bernina blog at wealsew.com. Till next time!